Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's gonna to be reviewing the Acura TLX Type S. Before we get into this video, I wanna give a huge shout out and thank you to the Jody Wilkinson Acura here in Salt Lake City, Utah, for giving me some time with this TLX. This particular Type S is still available for sale for the time being, so if you're interested, I'll include a link to their website in the description down below. And something that is awesome about the Jody Wilkinson Acura here in Salt Lake is they do not charge any sort of markups on their product whatsoever. Even at the peak of the pandemic, they did not mark up their vehicles. So if you wanna support a business that did not mark up their product over the course of the pandemic, make sure to reach out to them. And then on a side note, if you wanna save time money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Powering this is a turbocharged 3 liter V6 that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 19 around town and then 25 on the highway with power outputs being 355 horsepower and then 354 pound feet of torque. Now, before we go over the front end, I do want to mention, if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, look at the distinctive body lines there on either side, and then also in the center, it looks so good. And then coming down below, you guys can see here with the daytime running lights, and look at the headlights, and then you get your Type S badge here on the grill. It's all blacked out here in the center, and then you guys can see off to the side as well. And when you put it all together, you can tell that the TLX Type S means business. Now coming around the side here, our time wheel setup is 255, 35, 20 in the front and over in the rear. And the lighting's horrible today, but you can see we've got these metallic gray wheels with the red brake calipers, it really pops. We of course have another Type S badge on the side. You can see we've got the blacked out mirror cap and then look at the window trim, also blacked out. And then here's your full side view with the Type S. I think it looks absolutely fantastic with the proportions. So here's our key fob. We have the Acura logo, the Type S logo. We've got our remote start function, lock and unlock, and then the opening for the trunk. And I like the look and feel. It's very premium feeling. Now popping into the trunk, first off, we've got these two little latches to throw the seats down. And when it comes to cargo space, it is absolutely fantastic. And of course, we've got another Type S logo. And then when you're all done, you just, well, plop. We've got this low profile spoiler here on the back end. You guys can see TLX there. And then look at the taillights. I love the new taillight design. And then of course your all-wheel drive badge, Type S badge there on the other side. And then look how aggressive the exhaust tips are and the diffuser. Putting it all together, I'm a huge fan of the looks of the Type S. I think they did a really good job. Let me know what you think though. Now popping inside, you can see we've got soft touch here and then also down below. And look at the stitching that goes throughout. That looks great. And then you can see with the seats, they're all blacked out, but notice we got the inserts there and then you can see with the red stitching as well. Now, legroom back here is decent. Um, it is a little bit small with the foot space, but this seat is pushed back quite a bit. Um, but anyways, we've got a little storage pocket here. We also have some vents in the back. And then headroom back here is actually really good. And of course, don't you worry folks, we got a cup holder armrest. Now here is the front door panel. You can see with all of the trim and look at the stitching that goes throughout. All of our window controls here, door lock and unlock. We got our mirror adjustments. The mirrors do power fold in. Got some speaker action for the sound system, memory seats, and then blind spot monitoring with the mirrors. That's pretty cool with the front seat. You can see, again, perforated all down the center with the red stitching. Power adjustments here on the side, type S on the floor mat. And then look at the pedals right there. Got your parking brake here. This is for the safety tech. You guys can see the parking sensor stability control as well. And then the steering wheel is manually adjustable. Now taking a look at the steering wheel, you guys can see soft touch here at the top and at the bottom. Then we got like the golf ball texture here on the side so you get a better grip. Paddle shifters here on the back for the 10 speed automatic. We've got adapter cruise control with our steering assist. We also have our, like, our volume controls here and then turn signal light stock and windshield wiper stock. And then taking a look at the very center, you can see the gauge cluster here. And I love the like white silver background there with the gauges. I think they look fantastic. Um, but you can see just a bunch of different bits of info on the car. We're going to leave it on the all wheel drive because I'm interested to see that part of it. Now in reverse, we do have a backup camera with trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel. And we also have the other viewpoints that we can kind of go into with the camera itself. And then as for the rest of the infotainment system, yes, it does make the cool video game sounds. Um, but yeah, it's not a touchscreen. It's all controlled via a little keypad. It does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And even though it's not a touchscreen, it's frankly really responsive and easy to use overall. And then the last thing, is the drive mode select. So we get these cool animations here in the center. It also shows up in the uh, gauge cluster, but I like this part. And let's actually pop it to Sport Plus. Ooh, and the exhaust gets a little bit louder too. 
I really like this here with the dash. I think it looks really great with the material use. And then you can see some vent action all across. I think they did a good job with the design overall. Got our climate controls here, dual zone climate, heated and ventilated seats. Apparently my backpack needs a ventilated seat, which it doesn't, but I do. So that's nice. Drive mode select right there. And then your gear selector here. So it's all the buttons and tabs and everything. Auto stop start, you got your brake hold as well. And then we got the keypad to control the infotainment system, volume control here. And then this is just for the radio to change the station. A couple cup holders. and then. We we got our wrist rest with our wireless phone charging pad. And then look at that, the USBs and everything. Got some nice stitching here on the top. And yeah, plenty of storage in the glove box on top of all of it. And at the very top, we got a sunglass holder here. And then we have a sunroof as well. And then just a darker colored headliner. Now here's our window sticker on the TLX Type S. Uh, you guys can see all the standard equipment. Got our base MSRP 55,550, and then our total MSRP 57,345. And like I said, even on Type S's, Jody Wilkinson Acura doesn't do markups over MSRP. So if you're looking for a Type S TLX and you don't want to pay the three to five to ten grand over that some dealers are asking, reach out to them. Let's drive it. Let's talk about visibility before you set off. Here's your visibility over the hood, both the mirrors, and then throughout the rest of the rear. And well, I almost forgot buttons. <laughs> Let us set off in the TLX Type S. And I guess I gotta adjust the GoPro right off the bat. Apparently I don't know how to wear this thing anymore because lately I've had to do a lot of GoPro adjusting. Uh, I do love the feel of the steering wheel. It has a very, very nice texture to it. So I wanted to review this uh, again for this year because the first video I did was just a walk around. And I actually get asked a lot about this car. And so I figured I'd do like a full review so I can kind of give my opinions on the TLX Type S because I don't agree with a lot of the other journalists on this particular car. But let's get up and move so we can kind of talk about this. So first off, obviously lots of torque, 354 pound feet. So getting up is not a problem whatsoever. It's interesting to see the all wheel drive split it's relatively even, but it sends a little bit more power to the front is what I'm noticing, at least in, let's see what mode we're in. Normal mode, so we're in normal mode. I could have just looked at, I'm an idiot. Don't worry, I promise I review cars sometimes, apparently. Um, but yeah, suspension's really comfortable with a TLX Type S. Like these Salt Lake roads are you know, not always the best. They're kind of, kind of beat up. And so it's nice to have comfy suspension. And yeah, braking's good too. I love the engine response. It's it's really good. Man, these these new uh, roads are doing in Salt Lake. They're kind of kind of all over the place. That's for sure. Yeah, so I mean, just like it just it just floats along. Now I I I'd usually try not to complain in reviews, but that is just stupid how that pokes out there because then it gets in the way of this. It's like they want traffic to get worse in a sense. But anyways, we'll get another acceleration up in a little bit, but yeah, just getting on it a little bit, it's so responsive. Now, I'm gonna pop it into the Sport Plus mode. So it gets more aggressive. Transmission, obviously, it, it downshifts and all that. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty aggressive. I'm looking at the power split though, if you guys are wondering what I'm doing. Still sends a little bit more to the front. This is what it, it looks like it's showing. So that's interesting. Yeah, over the bumps and everything, the suspension handles it really well. So I think Acura's done a, a, a very good job with the suspension comfort on this. So I'll get an acceleration up here in a moment, but to, to start to sum things up here at the TLX Type S, I love how this looks. And I really do like how this drives. Now the comments that a lot of journalists have made and why is this bus like halfway over the line? Maybe they're new on the job. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm interrupting myself for <laughs> an acceleration. Man, this thing just, it's a rocket ship. Um, so a lot of journalists, what they say about the TLX Type S, oh, it's heavy, it's big and all that kind of stuff. Well, here's the deal. First off, when it comes to power, it's really good. And so like, even though this is a slightly heavier car, it's like the power is there. 
Now, second, when it comes to the overall performance, it's actually also, again, really solid. Like the engine's very responsive and it's like the perfect amount of power where you can have fun with the car, but you're not gonna be, you know, doing anything too crazy to get yourself in a bunch of trouble. Is this person? Okay, they're turning. <laughs> like I can do that and I'm fine, right? So the point that I'm trying to make here is, I think this car is really fun to drive, but I think it's also an amazing daily driver. And I think that other cars that people compare this against, they aren't as good on the daily driver side of things. Like they're fun to drive. Like a, a BMW a M340i, I think it's a great car. Fantastic car. But this is more comfortable. And this is like, it's got good space and everything. And the other thing is it's an Acura. So like a lot of the cars that people are, compare this against. So, you know, Mercedes C-Class, BMW 3 Series, Audi A4, or, you know, maybe Audi S4 actually would be a better comparison, sorry. But you guys get the point. Those cars are not nearly as reliable as this. This is an Acura. So like, you know, with the BMW or the Audi or the Mercedes, you're gonna be stuck on the road, leaking fluids, who knows this and that. The modern ones are more reliable than they used to be, but they're not as reliable as an Acura. Like, you know that this thing is going to be able to just take an absolute beating. You can put a ton of miles on it and it'll be fine. Whereas like with the BMW, it's like, how long is that warranty again? Okay, let me make sure I sell it before the warranty ends. But let me know what you guys think about the TLX Type S. I think this is a pretty underrated, reliable, daily drivable performance car.